Hi everyone, here we are with session 15 and in today's session I want to explain to you how to look for patterns. Uh, this is something like the cleaver. Remember we did the cleaver? Well it's similar to the cleaver. It will take up three blocks and I call it the mallet. And being able to recognize the mallet will very often help you get to other numbers. A mallet is a wooden hammer usually made of wood. The actual head of the mallet is made of wood so it can be used to hit wood. And uh, I'll explain to you as we go ahead with this puzzle uh, how to locate it and what it can do to help you get more numbers as well as find out that you're on the right track. So let's get started. We'll, we'll go with uh, the horizontal blocks. Let me see if there's anything here that I could see that we could fix straight away. No, not sorry. This is a harder puzzle. We're getting into harder ones now. And uh, well, when you get to the harder ones, you need to look for other things like patterns that I'm going to go through today. Similar to the cleaver, this one's called the mallet. The one. Well, here we have a one. While it can go all over the place here, let's do a cross. Does that help us? No, remember I do TMB LCR with at the same time look at the cross technique at this stage. So we have ones that we go to. Is there any ones over here? No, I didn't see anything. Twos. Well, we could have twos, uh, several spots. Let's do a cross. Two. No, that didn't help. There's only two. Here's a two over here. Let's go over here. Two. Two, that leaves you all these for two, no, leave it. Threes, threes, well, let's do a cross with a three. I can see we can do a cross in this, this block. That three can go up, that three can go that way. So that'll leave us, uh, oh, too many spots. Three, three, not so good. What about um, this three here? Can we go this way and down here? No. I think we're out of luck for threes. Uh, fours. Let's, uh, there's only one four, but we'll use the cross technique to see if we can help, that'll help us. And I believe it does. If I take this four and go up into this block here, and then take that four and go that way, that's the only place a four can go. So we can put a four there. So we'll put a four in here. Ooh, I'm running out of gas here. Uh, that means that we'll have two fours over here. Now, what I'm going to do this time is that I'm going to put the uh, little numbers in blue. There's a reason for it. You'll see later. Four there and a four there. Look down. No fours. Okay. Fives. No fives at all. Sixes. Can we cross a six? Let's have a look. Six, six, mm, too many spots. Any sixes up over here we can cross with? No, there's no crossing we can cross with here, so leave it. Sevens. Can we cross a seven? Well, we don't need to actually. There's two sevens. There's a middle, a bottom. It has to be up in here. If it could be there or there, but when I look down here, we see a seven. So therefore, this has to be a seven. Any ramifications of that? Yes, we can have a seven over here and we can have a seven there. Good. Eights. Well, an eight can go here, here and here. You can go and come across here. Don't do any crosses. Let's do a cross here. Look, up here means that you can't have one there. Across here you can't have one there, so you can have an eight there or an eight there. That's worthwhile putting in. So I'll put in two small eights, like so. Nines. Nine could be, well, we could have a nine here again uh, because of um, the cross system. If I go take this nine up and take that nine across this way, they can't be there or there. So therefore the nines have to be there or there, here or here. Okay, next three blocks, ones. Mm, can you see any crossing? 
we do a cross here, cross here, oh, lots of places for ones. Twos. Try this one. Two, two, two. Well, that's interesting. We can have a two here, two here. Now, I did that pretty fast. Let me draw it again for you. Two, this two gets rid of these two. This, this two gets this rid of this lot. This two gets rid of this one, so we're left with two spots for a two. Threes. Let's have a look at this section here. We have a three, and we'll look at this block here. We've only got one three, but we use the cross technique. Three, 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 which means that there's got to be a three here or a three there. Now, if I go in too fast, you can stop the video, go back and put a ruler across here or a pencil across or something to see how I got that. That three cancels that two. This three cancels these two. This three cancels these three. So you're left with just two places for a three. Uh, fours. Well, we have two fours. Uh, we have a four here. And we have a four there. So therefore, that was a pun, we could have a four there and a four there. And now I want to show you what I want to explain re this session. We do have two blocks where we have two small fours here and here. They are the only places in this block a four can go, there or there, and in this block the only places a four can go is there or there. When you see that pattern, you know you've got a mallet. And let me show you the mallet. I'll draw it out for you with the blocks involved. Here we have the, the head of the mallet and it's taken up these two blocks and in, this is where you've got those two fours now this section down in here is where the handle of the mallet is can you see the shape of a big piece of wooden hammer and a handle for the hammer Whenever you see this situation where there's the only two places the four can go in this block, only two places the four can go in this block, you know a four has to be in the handle. And that is what I want to explain to you. If you notice a mallet, and as you go further and more in advanced puzzles, you'll, come see, you'll see lots of mallets. Sometimes they help you, sometimes they don't. For example, if you had a mallet here and there was already a number here, you can pretty well know well the, uh, the cell that's left has got to be a 4. So we could, you could for, for your own benefit, put a little 4 in here knowing that one of these is going to be a 4. Now that is called the mallet. Now we could push on further, we were up to 4 in here. Uh, fives, um, Let's find out if it really is, there's going to be really a 4 in there. How does this work before I go continue on? If this was a 4, if this was a 4, then that has to be a 4. Therefore, the 4 has to be there. We have a left, a right, it has to be in the center. If this was a 4, then that means that this has to be a 4. And therefore, down in here, the handle has to be a 4 as well. So the logic is explained that way. Now, let's push on and see what we can get. We're up to fives. Let me see very quickly. Five. Any fives to go up and down here? Well, we go this way and then go up this way. Too many. Uh, sixes. No sixes. Sevens. Mm, no sevens to be speak of. Eights. Nothing. Nine. Only one nine. I can't see any crossing here. If there is a cross here, cross this way, down this way, and up this way, oh, that's interesting. Did you see that? Look, cross this way means you can't have a nine there, the one looking at this block here. Cross this way means you can't have a nine there or there. That nine means you can't have a nine there or there. And therefore, and this nine means you can't have a nine there or there. That means that this becomes a nine. And if you take this as a bottom, top you have a nine over here possible and a nine over here 
All because we look not only at TMB and LCI, but also at the cross technique. Now, let's go to this block down in here. Ones. Well, let's see. One, one. Oh, many times, many spots for a one. Twos. Uh, two, two. That didn't help us much, other than the fact that we could. Oh, we have twos in many spots. Threes. Let's have a look at this now. Three and three. No three, and there's a three here. Oh, look at this. This three cross this way and down this three means a three can be can't be there and it can't be there. It could be there. It has to be there. So that becomes our three. Well this this is getting towards the my point being coming true. Now we know the four has to be one of those two. Um, let's go on to th any other threes. We have a three down there. We could have a three over here. Where we, now that we've got that three, we could have a three here. And a three there. Now, pushing right along. Fours. Mm. Well, I've just noticed something. Here we have a 4, left, right and the centre. That 4 goes right there. Because of this 4, we, we have a 4 here and a 4 here. A 4 could be there or there. Right, so that well, could be a 4. That could be a 4. Let's see what happens. Well, both of these could mean that this could be a 4. Isn't that interesting? One of those is going to be a four. So that proves my point that the handle has to have a four. If the four was here, it would go four, middle, top, bottom. If the four was here, which it can't be, by the way, did you see that four up there? You're probably saying, Robert, what is about the four up the top? Well, yep, you're right. You saw it before I did. So that means that this becomes a four. If that becomes the four, middle, top, now we know that this is the four and basically that proves the point of the mallet. Now what I'm going to suggest you do now is uh, you may want to copy this down and go ahead and, and complete the puzzle. My advice is to be look carefully for one or two um, cells left and it's more than that go the route of outside the puzzle where you fill in three but I think if you're very careful, you should be able to do, without, do it without having to do uh, th outside the puzzle with three numbers. But go ahead, try it, because next session, session number 16, I'm going to go through this puzzle a bit further and show you another pattern that you can watch for that will give you a clue that you're on the right track. So that's it for today's session. Bye for now.